country in the United States has grown tremendously. We now have about 11 to 12 percent of music therapists working in medical music therapy. I think especially in the last 15 years it has really grown. When I finished my own internship or my own clinical training or academic training in 1997 there were no medical music therapy internships didn't exist and now we have books on medical music therapy, internship programs, we have specialized training like the NIC UMT training, so I, I really think that they have grown tremendously, as has the recognition with, with the advance of social media, news stories with individuals like Gabby Giffords, the recognition has, has just exploded and, and that's thrilling and fascinating. Successful music medical therapy programs rely on a lot of key elements, but I think if you want to look at, say, the top three things that are important in a medical music therapy program, I would say a focus on evidence-based practice. Doctors speak evidence-based medicine. They, they really care about the welfare of their patients, and they want to make sure that the interventions and techniques used are safe and effective. So evidence-based practice is, is a must. I also think data collection is a huge part of medical and music therapy programs. Not only do they want to know from the research that it's important, but they want to know from your own data collection that what you're doing in their facility is effective. And I also think that communication is a huge part of medical music therapy programs. You have to be able to educate other professionals, you have to be able to educate your own students, your own trainees. You also have to be able to communicate in a way that meets their needs and meets their focus and so that combined education and communication is hugely important. I think the key to a successful music therapy program from a music therapist standpoint is the ability to be flexible and creative. You have to be able to adapt to the needs of the facility. You have to recognize their mission and their goals. You have to find where their needs are and be able to use music therapy to meet those needs. So the music therapist, for him or herself, really has to be adaptive, flexible, creative, willing to change. Um, but the things that I listed previously in my answer to the second question are also not only things for building a successful program, but they are also concepts that you need to maintain a successful program. So back to that idea of data collection, of communication and education, you cannot stop any of those at any point because the turnover in healthcare is tremendous. You have to be able to constantly know what you have and be able to communicate what you have and what you're doing to staff who change frequently.